Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny, here. Um, today's workout is going to be a kettlebell. I wonder what to say kettlebell. Kettlebell, kettlebell workout um, in combination with dumbbells. I feel like this is something you can do at home. You can do it in the gym. It's something I generally don't show you guys as much. So we're gonna do that today. Um, first thing I do in the morning when I get up is I have some pre-workout. Gives me the energy that I need to get ready to um, get out the house. A lot of people ask me like, what is the motivation to get up every day? And I just force myself to get up at least. Then take my pre-workout and then we get going. So let's hit the gym. All right guys, so as always, I'm gonna start out with my Godly Body Belt and I'm gonna use a little bit of Aquaphor to really get that sweat pumping and help to get me warmed up. The first machine that I'm jumping on is the pulley machine or the ski machine. I really, really love this for a workout warm up. It's a lot different than any of the other cardio that I've done. It's great for your cardiovascular, it's great for balance, it's really great for your arms and your back. And there are so many ways you can use it, so many different angles, so many different speeds. You can jump, you can kind of do like a forward breaststroke, you can do a backstroke with it. There are so many ways to use this machine that I really wanted to show you guys all the different varieties of speeds, stances that you can do using it. I really, really love this because not only is it new to me and really exciting to use, but my body's not used to it yet. So my arms and my back have seen so much progress since introducing this new machine to my workout. I love it. Here you can see that I am just, you know, kicking my legs. If I had on my resistance bands right now, which I do sometimes, I could have been doing some hamstring work and a lot of different things. I think music in the gym is very, very, very important. It keeps you motivated, it keeps you focused, it keeps your swag up. We all know how we feel when we're in the club and we got one or two drinks in our system and our song comes on. We can't not move. It's the same thing in the gym. When I have my pre-workout and I got my song on, I'm moving, I'm grooving, I'm burning calories, I'm gaining muscle. I think a playlist is very, very important. A lot of people ask me, so how do you stay motivated and what do you do? To, like, I just love going to the gym. I love dressing up and looking cute. I love once my pre-workout hits me and my song comes on, honey, I'm ready to kill it. As you can see here, I'm doing kind of like, I like to think of this as kind of like train motion, like train tracks, like just moving my arms like that, jumping always ups the ante, always burns more calories. Whenever you can get in a good plyo workout, which is basically jump training, I say go for it. And as you can see, I'm kind of doing one arm at a time and really stretching my body. You can feel it all the way through. Like I said, there are just so many ways to use this machine. I wanted to come in, guys. I wanted to come and give you guys some commentary because it's easy to get into the gym and you see these things and you just do not feel the motivation. I want you guys to hear my voice when you're in the gym. I want you guys to see me dancing and not giving a flying F. You're not gonna get results being modest in the gym, trying not to offend people. Do you, boo, in the gym, do you? As you can see, I have the wires crossed and that's really, really hitting me in my back, in my scapula, the backs of my arms. I can feel, just watching this, I can feel sweat bursting out of my pores and running down my arms. That is the best feeling ever. When you just feel sweat just pouring out of your body, amazing, absolutely amazing. So now I'm going in and I'm pretty much doing some squats. I do some deadlifts here and I'm using a moderate weight kettlebell. I'm not sure how many pounds this is. Just from feeling it, I would say it's probably about 10 or 15 pounds. At the max, it's 20, but I don't think it's quite 20 pounds. So basically I'm using like some body weight, some plyo, I'm using the kettlebell, and I'm using these two steps right here like this because it really allows me to get deep. And the further I move my feet forward, the wider spread my legs are. That is great for your hips and your inner thighs. Anything sumo is really gonna kill your inner thighs and your hips. And when you're training your glutes and training your legs, you wanna train them from many different angles, many different depths, and many different widths. You don't wanna keep your feet at one um, width the whole time, and you don't wanna work with one depth at the 
at the same at the <laughs> you don't want to work with one depth all the time so now I'm going in singly and I'm doing some some back work as you can see I'll be doing some rows in a second or two this was really something that I wanted to do for you guys because I know a lot of people have these things in their home so right now I'm doing some kettleball swings and the thing about this I was never really good at these I was always trying to pull the bell with my arms you really want to use your hips as the driving force so you want to just sit your hips back and like just push them so far forward it will send the ball soaring it's great for your lower back your hamstrings and your glutes and um, the way to make any workout a little bit harder as I'm doing right now is I'm pulsing you can do 1.5 reps where you kind of like pulse and you really really dig into your muscles I'm doing pulses and bounces and it's really really killing my butt I'm telling you guys right now this is my first time doing this kind of workout in a long time and I sweat so much and I felt great so right now I'm taking a pair of 10 pound dumbbells and I'm doing some hop squats and again like I said I have my feet wide apart and it's really allowing me to get lower than I would if I was standing on the floor I wouldn't be able to get that kind of depth um, and you wouldn't really be able to dig in the way you are so I want you guys to know that it's okay to sit down in the gym. It's okay to take a break for 15 to 30 seconds. Get yourself together. You don't need to kill yourself in the gym. You don't need to work so hard that you feel like you're going to vomit. Sit down, get your thoughts together. Maybe look at your phone or your, your list of workouts and then begin again. So right now I'm doing some sitting squats with these 10 pound dumb, uh, dumbbells and it's just a really, really great way to make sure that you're getting low these are super low these are even lower than box squats and it's just really really working your glutes if you watch my videos you guys know that I always say the lower you go the more you're working your glutes so as you can see here now I'm standing on the ground and I'm doing some deadlifts with the kettle with the kettleball I never know what to call it kettle bell kettle bell I'm doing some deadlifts and I'm doing some pulses as well as I come up and squeezing at the top always squeeze at the top I could really care less who's looking at me like a couple years ago when I first started the gym I was very modest and I always felt strange I felt like people would be looking at my body people would be wondering what am I doing I always thought that people would look at me like oh she's just like a little black girl she don't know how to work out you know black girls naturally have a good body so she doesn't know what she's doing but I'm completely over that Taking off my belt, I don't usually work out the whole time with my belt because you do need to let some of your heat out. And a lot of your heat comes from the top of your head and your belly. Here I am again, just doing some slow deadlifts, trying really hard to keep my back as straight as I can, keep my shoulders up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some thrusts as well. I can't remember the exact name of these, kettlebell swings or thrusts or whatever you wanna call them. A lot of times I don't know what to call a workout. I'm not someone who grew up, you know, training. I went to the gym, back in the day and I would hit the elliptical and I maybe hit the stair machine and then I'd like leave. So I didn't really know what I was doing. But I, I'm really becoming acclimated with a lot of the different movements and stuff like that. So bear with me as I grow, we will grow together. And I'm doing some more rows here. And this is just for your back area. And I really like standing on top of these steps because it really gives you a nice good full reach and you can really really feel your back muscles working I added in a little bit of a pulse squat into that last one and it almost killed me I remember thinking like okay I just started my workout and I should not be this tired already but yeah this one is heavier as you can see I want to say that this one is probably about 30 pounds or more. I should have really looked at it, but once I get going, sometimes I just, I just go. Took a little bit of a break and now I'm gonna go right back to it. 
And like I said, or like I say in a lot of my videos, I don't really work based on sets and reps. A lot of times I just work myself till failure in each exercise and maybe I'll come back and do it again. Move to a different part of the gym and then come back and kill my muscles again. Come home, I have a bomb protein shake and then I have some real food, loads of water and you know, it's, it's working out really good. I will have some meal plans coming very soon. Um, aside from warming up on the pulley machine, you want to make sure to stretch because as you'll see when I'm doing a lot of these exercises, sometimes I'll stop and I'll stretch my body or I'll crack my neck or my back or something like that because you can really, really feel your body coming to like life, you know? I wanted to you guys to see this angle so you can see exactly what muscles I'm working hamstrings, quads, and lower back. Action, I absolutely puzzle. Yes, yeah, see, right here is a prime example. Once you start working your body, you can really feel like, okay, I need to still crack my back, crack my neck, stretch and do all these things. I say this because I want you guys to feel comfortable enough in the gym to where the gym feels like your home. As you can see, nobody's paying me extreme attention. Look at that guy in the background. He was killing his workout, putting me to shame. But yeah, back to some deadlifts and making sure I squeeze at the top and my inner thighs are burning just watching this. But yeah, when you go to the gym, I want you to feel comfortable. People in the gym are generally not going to be hella focused on you because they're so focused on themselves. Even me, every now and again, I may see somebody and I pay them a little bit of attention or they pay me a little attention, okay? But for the most part, you can completely go and do what you need to do. This was something new that I really liked and I started um, using my red resistance band for this workout and I'm basically just doing some hip abduction jumping back and forth between the two steps and depending on where you put your resistance bands like that's where it's gonna stress the most I have it in my mid knees and I could feel it mostly in my hips and when you put it around your ankles oh my goodness super burn Right now I'm just burning some calories and doing hip abduction back and forth and doing some curtsy lunges. This is all great for your hamstrings and your lower body. Um, doing this kind of workout and very fast, you're also going to burn loads of calories and it's going to give you like a full cardio workout. But being that I'm using the resistance bands, it's also going to challenge my muscles. So right here I decided to do some hip thrust and do some ab work and little different things like this. This is something that I need to incorporate more into my workout. I very rarely work out my abs because I mean, nobody really writes songs about abs, right? <laughs> no, just kidding. But I seriously need to incorporate more ab workouts into my routine. This was great. Just laying down like this was great. As you can see, this was probably my, my favorite part of the workout, was just laying down. You know, but this is actually a really, really great workout. It's an isolated glute workout. If you want to grow your butt without growing your quads, then definitely check out some hip thrusts. Also jumping into some jump rope. I said this on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should go ahead and do that. Jumping rope and certain kinds of cardio are usually not the best for thick girls, especially if you get into your fat burning and stay into your fat burning zone. But what I did was I added my resistance bands from the xbands.com, code TGB for checkout, and it really, really helps to challenge your muscles. It really, really keeps your heart rate up while still incorporating strength training. And I think that's really important, especially if you're trying to gain muscle. And yes, your booty is a muscle. So here I'm doing like some curtsy lunges. These are great for your hips. And as soon as I did that, I felt like, ooh, I gotta crack my neck. And it feels really, really good. Once you're in tune with your body and working out and different things like that, you'll be able to work all that out. Love doing hip abduction, um, curtsy, curtsy lunges, squats, and anything like that with a resistance band. It really, really ups the ante. I really like having these because you can do this in your home, you can do this in your bathroom, you can do this at work, on your break, or anything like that. So. I really wanted to share this workout with you guys because I don't do a lot of home workouts, but what I do want to start doing is working out in the gym things that I can do at home so you guys can incorporate this into your everyday workout. Whenever I'm at a loss for what to do next, I just put on a good tune and I just vibe out. 
I dance, I add my resistance bands so I can make sure that I'm burning lots of calories and challenging my muscles. I do lots of high knees for my abs and obliques and different things like that. But mainly this is just some good old calorie burning, getting me super sweaty and just staying in the groove of my workout. You don't wanna sit down and get stagnant too long because you're gonna lose your motivation and you don't wanna lose your motivation. So just keep moving. So here you'll see that I have my orange resistance band now and this is stronger than the red. This is a heavier resistance and it's it's tighter basically or it takes more power to move this resistance band. So I'm just doing some lunges and really just stretching and getting into my muscles, burning and shredding my muscles down and just really just stretching myself really, really good. <laughs> this guy completely came and like, pretty much was enjoying the show. And I have no problem with that whatsoever. But when he realized my camera was there, he was like, okay, I better leave. But yeah, today was a great workout. I was super focused, honey. Look at these kickbacks for the top of that booty. Yes. I got a great workout in, I'm not gonna lie. I felt really, really good. And I wasn't in the gym forever. I would say that I was in the gym for maybe an hour and a half, which is pretty much my general time, but I think every minute of the hour and a half I spent working out and I really, really got a great pump in today. I hope you guys did too. And if you haven't, use this video and get you a good pump. So here I'm going in with, with a weighted ball and I'm doing some hop squats with the resistance band and the weighted ball. This absolutely tired me out. Just going ahead and using the orange resistance band and doing some lying hip abduction, absolutely positively great. If you're looking to build hips and really, really curve yourself out, if you have hip dips or violin hips, that's definitely something that you're gonna wanna incorporate. Mountain climbers, that's great for your abs and your hamstrings. Planking is good for your body all over, especially your abs and this is probably one of my final workouts. I went down to the little weight room or the little, I like to call this the, the doom room because there's no windows and it's just so foggy down here for some reason. I'm just going in with a 45 pound plate and I'm doing some deadlifts and I'm squeezing extra hard at the top and it feels good. It really feels great. Going in, um, Depending on the way you're holding your weight, the way the weight is shaped, it can really, really affect uh, the muscle groups that it targets. So sometimes for deadlifts, I'll use a bar, sometimes a plate, sometimes resistance bands, and they all work your body a little differently. So make sure to add variety. Like this right here, <laughs> these like squats into overhead presses, absolutely positively brutally tiring like my legs are like please just leave and it was really really good i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the last few seconds of this workout without me yammering on go ahead and make sure you follow me on instagram and make sure you subscribe to this channel because i'm gonna start posting more and more videos i'm gonna be giving you guys more and more information and we are gonna grow together all right guys so thanks again i'll talk to you later bye guys